Hi guys, Putin from BIA World of Warships with a game for you. Well, this game really isn't about the gameplay. It's more or less about uh, the general discussion of casuals. Are they good or are they bad for the game? Now, as you can see, I'm in the T-61, which is a German premium destroyer at tier 6 that just got released. The reason you're seeing this replay is for two reasons. One, I mean, huge amount of mistakes uh, before and during the battle and when I say by before is usually you will see my modules about here and my captain build uh, I would go with more of a gun build for this guy which means I would probably go over to the main, main, main battery into real tubes uh, faster repairing either engine or rudder, better aiming and then maybe propulsion mod or something else it just you know, the, like I said, the build isn't as important, but the important thing is, while I did remember to make sure I had camouflage, while I did to make sure I had my military month contribution flag and premium consumables, I have no captain skills. This this is a zero point captain in here. While he's ten points sitting at port in game, he has none because he has no skills. The second reason you're seeing this replay is because when I showed Sneaky the results, his first response immediately was, No, do not use this replay. Well, Sneaky's not the boss of me, so I guess we're going to see this replay. <clears throat> now, I think this gameplay probably will highlight a little bit of my discussion while I go. I'll probably end up going way off target, whether or not... We really need casuals in this game, or we should just stick this game with the highly skilled uh, players and the hell with everyone else. My belief is this. I think the casuals get lumped in to a bad category. I think casuals get a very bad name. The reason I say this is because there is a difference between a bad player and a casual player. Casual player is just somebody who's just kind of playing for fun, doesn't play a lot, but they still may be playing for the win. They still may be playing to learn uh, the game and get better at it. They just don't play it as often as the hardcore player base does. Now, while there are several hard, you know, there, there, are, there are good casual players, there are unicum casual players, and then there are bad casual players, and it's the same thing goes with hardcore players. There are plenty of hardcore players that are bad, there are plenty that are just good, and then there are plenty that are, you know, in, in the Unicum, that, that fully understand everything. And I think that's the problem that uh, the overall issue is the casuals get lumped into uh, the player base that is usually on the lower end of the skill. Now... Casual players may not put the time in to go sit in a test room, watch every single YouTube video uh, there is about this game. Uh, they may only have one or two channels that they watch. And I'm not going to mention names, but it's probably going to be on the higher end of the skill level that they watch or go watch for entertainment. Uh, uh, watch for entertainment. I'm not going to name names and I'm not going to call out any particular channels because some of those channels I still do watch and I do enjoy them. But usually what you see on 90% of YouTube videos is big flashy numbers. Now, I've stated in my uh, Curve First game where I broke 300,000 is it's luck and skill. Really, in order to do that much damage or get that many kills, requires a lot of luck. The skill comes in from you recognizing the situation and taking advantage of it, but it really comes down to how bad is your team, how bad is the enemy team. That's the thing. If we didn't have casual players, we wouldn't have these great YouTube videos of teams collapsing or teams overcoming a big deficit, you know, the come from behind or, you know, the, the good players 
recognizing the situation, and I'm sure there have been even casuals that have some really phenomenal games, but they just don't send their replays out to everybody because they just, that, that's, you know, that's not their thing. You wouldn't have all these great replays because if you took all the casuals out of the game, all you'd be left with is the super unicum and unicum douchebags that think their shit doesn't stink and know, you know, know how to play the game extremely well. The other thing casuals do is they generate money for wargaming. While the hardcore player base is probably more likely to spend money on premium uh, and chips, wargaming still does stuff to get the casual player in here to play to spend their money. Wargaming knows the hardcore player base is going to spend money. Uh, any hardcore player base for any game is going to spend money on the game. At the end of the day, this is still a business. Wargaming is trying to make money, and their product is the game. The game, uh, at the end of the day, is trying to make wargaming money. Without casuals, that doesn't happen. Because they know they're going to get XYZ money from, you know, the hardcore player base. That They know that's there. It's the casual players that spend, you know, a couple... You know, that that aren't going to spend some extra money uh, because they're enjoying the game. That is really going to, you know, for the most part, maybe change Wargaming's budget. Which is another reason why I'm showcasing this ship. Because a lot of people are, are believing that this ship is going to go on the naughty list because it's so much better than the tech tree. While this is still a free-to-play free game... Wargaming is still trying to make money. They're just using the business model of allowing players to play premium ships, get premium time to earn more experience and credits. Uh, which is usually why you will see some sort of bundles, because your casual gamers are going to believe the bundles are their best option. Well, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Wargaming does give off an awful lot for the bundles, and the bundles are usually uh, at a good price. But enough talking about the money end of of it. It's, it's your heart. I mean, you know, I've tried doing this recording several times because it's such a very complicated, tough subject to talk about. Uh, and I'd probably need two or three games, and I don't want to make this an extremely long video to really get into, uh, details. But, like I was trying to say, casual players are good for the game. It's, they get lumped into the category of bad players because casuals are either watching YouTube to try to get better or for entertainment, and then they try to replicate what they see on YouTube, and the problem with YouTube is 90% of it is never explaining the thought process. And I'll give out a perfect example because a lot of people will actually explain this one is, oh look, a battleship just repaired one fire. You never do that in a battleship unless you know you're not going to get shot at or take a flood. That's usually spoken amongst several channels, several gameplays. It's usually pointed out several times. It's usually pointed out in-game. <clears throat> but it's stuff like that that a lot of these YouTube videos don't explain. And so the casual player is seeing something, they're trying to replicate something, but not understand why the individual is doing it. And I think a lot of that comes from nobody really spends a lot of time explaining the mini map positioning and their thought process which is why a lot of my videos i do try to explain my thought process over just outright gameplay like right here i know for a fact that battleship's dcp is down for two reasons he's behind the island i knocked out a steering gear well actually it'd be b3 and he took a flood so he knows he's not going to take any damage but he's got to get his steering gears back and he's got to kill the flood so, his DCP's down. I'm sending preemptive torps. 
Why am I sending preemptive tarps? Because if this guy sails out, takes another flood, he's going to flood to death. There's just no way around it. I'm not pushing our enemy camp because, oh, look, there's a Belfast. I don't want to get caught in a radar. I have no captain skills, and he can easily kill me. Number two, I don't know what the battleship is doing because he's not spotted. I'm located, and this battleship makes a bad play. I don't know if this guy's a hardcore casual or not, but he made a bad play. He knew I was in the area and still continued to come out around that island to possibly take torps. I do believe he easily could have looked at my smoke cloud, judged, sailed a little bit more south, and been safe. But no, instead he comes out, takes a flood, a flood slows down your ship. Uh, you are a lot less maneuverable when you are flooding, and this guy's all but guaranteed dead. It's just, is he's gonna die from somebody's shots? Is he gonna die from the fire? Is he gonna die from these torps, or is he gonna die from the flood? But he's as good as dead. Like I said, I don't know if this guy's a casual player, but I can tell you, that wasn't a smart play. You don't see a lot of that in YouTube, where they're explaining what either the player did wrong, or the individual showcasing his video did wrong. Which kind of limits growth, you know. This game's going to grow by the amount of casual players in here. And the more, the more players we can get, the better off the game is going to be. Because you're going to have a bigger community that cares about it. You can turn some of these casuals into hardcore players that truly do love the game. And there are probably plenty of casuals that truly do love the game. But nobody respects them because they're team has put played. under... The casual player banner, and everybody just sits there and goes, well, casual players are just bad. That's not true. Casual players are not bad. There are good casual players, there are bad casual players, and there are great and super unicum casual players. And the same thing goes with the hardcore player base. There are bad players, good players, and your, your, your unicum players. I don't think it's fair that casuals are getting lumped into this. They're bad players. Bad players are bad players at the end of the day. Now, as you can see, I really am trying to have this as a, as a shorter video. But you know what? Please point out everything I did wrong. Please, uh, what are your feelings on casual players versus bad players. Do you think casual players are getting a bad name because of the bad players and because of the weekend? Uh, and because, you know, Wargaming does all these things to try to draw in a bigger uh, a bigger player player base. The other thing I think that kind of hurts the casuals is this is a very, a very high skilled uh, learning curve to this game. There, there's not a very good, like, tutorial i believe i never played the introduction mission because i've been playing this game for so long and i think the best place to actually learn how to play this game is through watching videos watching uh videos that explain what is going on what to do and how to do it and also the wikipedia which is an awful lot of reading i think the wiki uh the the wiki for wargaming is probably the best manual that was ever written it's just look at how much is put there Really would like to hear your guys' thoughts and feelings on the subject. Uh, so please feel free to leave comments down below. Please keep it civil. On that note, guys, we do appreciate all the support you guys do give us. We love the replays you send in. The email for that is in the description down below. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Oh, and please remember to compliment good teamwork, good team play. We are quick to report, slow to compliment. Once again, please hit that like and subscribe button. And have yourselves one heck of a great day.